let's go ahead and start. And if they, you know, if they come in, they can just join us. I'll have this share thing up on the screen again. So I was just going to kind of introduce the book in that, but since they're not here. Well, we can start with prayer and then. Yeah, let's start with on unless... scripture, scripture and prayer and then. Yeah. Wait, let me... Oh, Keila say, just hold on a minute. She's getting ready to open up some. That's okay. You can still do it. Oh, you're pretty. Okay. Okay, good. Sorry. Last okay. minute. Last minute cookie meal. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay, so Sister McWatt, do you want to wait? Do I do prayer first? Uh, scripture, then prayer. I think we had Sister Michelle, and wait. Yeah, she's doing yeah, the- Michelle doing scripture. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, the scripture is being taken from, I don't know if this is a repeat or not, but the scripture is okay. taken from Psalms 24. Hmm. Always good. Okay. Psalms 24. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to what is false and does not swear deceitfully. He will receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek the face of the God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Mm -hmm. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, and lift them up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Mm. That was the reading of Psalm 24. All right. Dear God, we want to thank you for waking us up this morning and setting us on the right cause, on our right course. Lord, I want to thank you for the sisters that are here gathered tonight to study your word, and to fellowship with one another. Thank you. Lord, as we come forth, you know, and we gather, you said where two or three are gathered in your name, you will be in the midst of us. So Thank Lord, you. we pray as we go through this study that you will be with us, guide us, and help us, and show us yes. where you want us to go. Uplift us so that we will be yes. able to share and uplift your words with others. Yes. Lord, we want to pray for each household that is represented, the ladies that or may not be here right now, Lord, yes. or are trying to get on. But Lord, we just want to pray for those households. You know their needs and you know what they need to do in order yes. to grow in your name. So Lord, we just come now just asking you to touch each and every one of we ask you to look upon yes, Michelle and touch her. Thank you. And her husband, Tim. Lord, Thank help you. them grow in your grace, in your glory. And we just ask you to continue to keep them in good health as they go forth. Yes, Lord. Through this, vi this virus. And Lord, we just want to come and ask you to look upon Marie, to pray for her and her daughter, yes, strengthen her as she goes through and tries to get all this information out to everyone. We just Thank pray, you. Lord, that everyone will be able to eventually join us and come in so that Lord we will have a spirit filled revival within our yes, church so we just yes. ask you now to just touch each and every one of us and Lord we want to pray for the families that have lost their loved ones and who are grieving yes, you know I know Lenita yes, had yes, lost yes. her aunt we just want to pray for her and yes. you know just strengthen her because she's not able to be with her family back east That's and right. then I and then Kathy asks for a special prayer for her niece yes. who's in the hospital now. And Lord, we just pray, you know, her mom can't go in and see her. And it's just really hard on the family and on this little girl. So we just ask you to just strengthen that family and let, you know, let Kathy know that you're with her and yes. have her be the rock that she needs to be for the family as she goes forth. And 
we just want to uh, continue just to pray for everyone, yes, you know, who's going through times and hard times, people who lost jobs and, and you know, family who are just, you know, who are just don't know what to do, Lord, and haven't found you as their Savior. So we just ask you to help them so that they will be able. But we don't understand where this virus is taking us. We don't yes. understand what's going on. But Lord, you know and you have all the answers. Yes, and so we ask you, we need you to just put our trust in it. You said if we yes, would, you know, it says my people will humble themselves and pray, yes, you yes. know, and turn from their ways, then you would hear us and heal our land. So, Lord, we're just coming now and just asking you to please just heal our yes, land, Lord. heal our soul, pull people closer to you, Lord. So when the churches are open again, they are filled and people are ready to go and do your will. So, Lord, yes, now we just Lord. come and give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory. As we go forward, we want you to pray for our pastor, his family. Yes, Lord. Through this trying time, time, you yes, know, and pray Lord. for his wife and pray for, you know, their kids. Because I know it must be hard when, you know, you're stuck in the house and can't go anywhere with your yes, children. So, Lord, we just come now asking you to give us the strength as we go forward through this week. All these things we ask in our son's name. And yes, for his sake, we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Still checking. I hope I'm not doing something wrong here. Somewhere. Doing something wrong. You're doing something wrong. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see. Usually it's me. I don't know. All right. So I, I'm gonna share the screen. We'll see what. What? 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 No, oh, I thought I heard something. So we left off, we were going to read Ephesians 2 and 3 out of, and I found my book. It was right in the drawer. I left it in right next to Oh, me. good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's how it usually happens. Yeah. Right? Overlooking. And I got smart, like Sister Michelle, and I have my Bible open to Colossians. We've got Ephesians in the book, so I'm ready. All right. Now I'm going to tell you guys, it's, it's pretty... It's not as easy as it is, and that's maybe just me, to be going back and forth and trying to cover what the Colossians and compare them with it, because my mind can only concentrate on one, <laughs> fully on one thing at a time. <laughs> it was. I had, you know, I read through, like I'd read chapter one of Colossians, then go to Ephesians, and I kind of went back and forth and was able, but yeah, it really, it, it helps you to really delve into it, though, because you're really, yeah. you don't lose your focus because you know you're trying to find that parallel. Yeah. And so it kind of, it helped my focus with the two, like, okay, that sounded familiar. Where did I read that? Where did you read it? Okay. So I did, um, we'll read through, and then we have our book. So if anybody joins, I'll put the screen up, but then when we're discussing, I kind of typed out my, the ones, the parallels that I found. Uh -huh. um, so, you know, we can, we'll share at the end, but for right now, we'll go through two and three, and I wish I sent them the link. Oh, that's so weird. Anyway, okay, we'll just, we'll figure it out, and they can yell at me later if I... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I don't know who wants to read first, but um, it's not too bad. It starts at around the middle of 55 and goes to the right. top of 57, so it's it's not too bad. Um, okay. All right, now let's, who wants to start? It doesn't matter to me. Uh, you guys can start. Okay, I'll, I'll start off. Ephesians 2, starting with verse 1. And although you were dead in your transgressions and sins, in which you formerly lived according to this world's present path, according to the ruler of the kingdoms of the air, the ruler of the spirit that is now energizing the sons of disobedience, among whom all of us also formerly lived out our lives, in the cravings of our flesh, indulging the desires of the flesh and the mind, 
and were by nature children of wrath, even as the rest. But God, being rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, even though we were dead in transgressions, made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you are saved. Mm -hmm. And he raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus to demonstrate in the coming ages the surpassing wealth of his grace in kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you are saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God. It is not from works so that no one can boast. For we are his workmanship, having been created in Christ Jesus for good works that God prepared beforehand so we may do them. Okay. Therefore, remember that formerly you, the Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcised, uncircumcision by the so-called circumcision that is performed on the body by human hands, that you were, I'm sorry, I don't have my glasses, so I'm like doing back and forth. Do you want me to read or are you good? You can read that part. I'm, I don't know what I do with my glasses this time. Okay, I'll, I'll take it from there and then you just interrupt me when you're ready. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I found it. That, okay, that go ahead. You, oh, are you sure? Yeah, Okay. I'm, I'm looking for him now. I think I that have. you were at that time without the Messiah, alienated from the citizenship of Israel and strangers to the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who used to be far away have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, the one who made both groups into one and who destroyed the middle wall of partition, the hostility, when he nullified in his flesh the law of commandments and decrees. He did this to create in himself one new man out of two, thus making peace, and to reconcile them both in one body to God through the cross, by which the hostility has been killed. And he came and preached peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near, so that through him we both have access in one, we both have access in one spirit to the Father. So then you are no longer foreigners and non-citizens, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and members of God's household, because you have been built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the cornerstone. In him, the whole building being joined together grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you are also being built together into a dwelling place of God in the spirit. You want me to keep going? Okay, now which one are we on? Because I picked up my other Bible. That's a little oh, bit. Ephesians 3. Okay, we're on 3? We mm -hmm. just finished 2. Okay. All right. I think I can read this part. I, Paul, am a prisoner of Christ Jesus because of my teaching to the Gentiles. As you already know, God has given me this special ministry of announcing his favor to the Gentiles as briefly mentioned earlier in the letter god himself revealed in his secret plan to me and you read and as you read what i have written you will understand what i know about the plan regarding christ god did not reveal it to previous generations but now he has revealed it by the holy spirit by the body by the um, see, holy apostles and prophets. And this is the secret plan. The Gentiles have an equal share with the Jews in all the riches inherited by God's children. Both groups have believed the good news and both are part of the same body and enjoy together the promise of blessing through Christ Jesus. By God's special favor and mighty power, I have been given the powerful privilege of serving him by spreading 
this good news. Just think, though I did nothing to deserve it, and though I am the least deserving Christian there is, I was chosen for this special joy of telling the Gentiles about the endless tre uh, treasures available to them in Christ. I was chosen to explain to everyone the plan that God, the creator of all things, had kept secret from the beginning. Oh, was oh. that all of three? No. Okay. I'll go on. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> where are you? I don't mind reading. I just don't know where yeah, you I, are. I got I'm, on, I'm, on I'm on 10. I lost. I, okay. I know because I, I'm reading from uh, the uh, Life Application Study Bible. Got you. Okay. All okay. right. Mine was a little bit different. A little bit different. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you want me to start with 10? I can go ahead if you want. Oh, okay. go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. At least now I know where you are. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, uh. I, I did it on purpose. No. Uh, God's purpose was to show his wisdom in all rich variety to all the rulers and authorities in heavenly realms. They will see this when Jews and Gentiles are joined together in his church. This was the plan from the from all eternity, and it has now been carried out through Jesus Christ our Lord. Because of Christ and our faith in him, we can now come fiercely into God's presence, assured of his glad welcome. So please don't despair because of, my, of what they are doing to me here. It is for you that I am suffering, so you should feel honored and encouraged. Uh, I'm on 14 now. When I think of the wisdom of the scope of God's plan, I, fa I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from the glorious unlimited resources he will give you mighty inner strength through the Holy Spirit. And I pray that Christ will be more and more at home in your hearts as you trust in him. May your roots go down deep into the soul, into the soil of God's marvelous love. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should now, uh, oh, should uh, how wide and how long and how high and how deep his love really is. May you experience the love of Christ. So it is so great, you will never fully understand it, then you will be filled with the fullness of little, of, um, excuse me, a power of life and power that comes from God. Now, glory be to God by the mighty power of at work within us. He is able to accomplish infinitely more than we could ever dare to ask or hope. May he be given glory in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever through endless ages. Amen. Amen. Okay. All right. So let me share screen here. We got... All right. Do you, is that up there? Do you see that? Yeah, I, okay, see. Good. I see it with my eyeballs. Yay! Light. 
Doesn't that look like she has a light bulb over on the side of her? Yeah. It does. Yeah, that's, the, <laughs> that's okay. It's not, it's not distracting. I feel, I feel it like, like a I light feel bulb. Like spirit is coming in. Right? It's like the light of <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I like it. I fixed that. Oh, oh, I thought I closed it off. Oh, it's coming from the archway over the window. That's not going to go away because... I can't do anything about it. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, sorry. I think it's very symbolic. I like oh, okay. it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, I feel okay. the spirit there. That's it. All right. Okay. So, um, so okay. the well, one of the questions. So last at the beginning of Ephesians, it said Paul expected his readers to share the two letters. Mm -hmm. Pray for spiritual insight, okay, and then read what we know as the book of Ephesians. Highlight themes that seem familiar compared with what you read in Colossians. Words and underlined italic are the apostles' quotations from the Old Testament. And then that, I took question, I think it was number four, what mm -hmm. ideas or topics overlap in this document with what Paul wrote to the Colossians? So then mm -hmm. I just kind of did mine. I don't mind whoever wants to go first. Um, well, I told you how difficult it was for me to keep. So you can maybe by what you start to talk about, it might, you know, it might generate us to, or okay. me to say some things, you know, that kind of jump out because of what you were able to. Okay, do. well, don't be afraid to interrupt me. I'll just start okay. going and then whatever happens. So the first thing um, was, I just said both books begin with a prayer for them, meaning all the, the people to be strengthened by God's power. Um, mm -hmm. and I've noticed some of the same messages are in both. And in some cases, the wording is almost exactly the same. Mm -hmm. And then Paul seems to be teaching them not only how to pray, but also what to pray for. Yeah. Um, so the first one I found, the first similarity was um, where he's thanking God for them and their faith. So in Ephesians 1, 15 and 16, he says, ever since I heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints, I have not stopped giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. Mm -hmm. And then in Colossians 1, 3 and 4, he says, we always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you because we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and the love you have for all the saints. Yeah. So that was kind of the first thing for me. And then let me... I, I think I said, you know, um, they were both written about the same time, you know, when Paul, and right. Paul, in both letters were written when Paul was in prison. And I'm not sure if the, he was in Rome, but I know he was in prison at, you know, at both letters, at uh, both times that he had written it. And also that, what is his name? Ty Helius, Tychicus the, or Tychi, yes, the one he yeah. delivered both, didn't he? Yeah, he delivered both of them to both okay. churches. Right. And um, so that was kind of interesting. To, so the, the little um, commentary in this Bible mm -hmm. says Colossians is the third letter written from prison uh, in Rome. And then let me look at the beginning of Ephesians. Maybe it says... Mm -hmm. This letter was written by Paul during his two-year imprisonment in Rome. So they were both written while he was in Rome. Now, one thing that was different, it does say that with Ephesians, Paul pastored them for three years. In, mm -hmm. in some of the, the notes that I have, it says that he was, it was, uh, the gospel was first brought by Priscilla and Aquila, Mm -hmm. And then Paul, um, then Paul left, you know, they were left there to kind of go on, go on and bring the church on. Mm -hmm. And then later, Paul came and firmly established Ephesia, um, Ephesus on his third journey. Yeah. And he pastored them for three years. 
Yeah, because he left him and also Apollos was there and they were supposed yeah. to carry on the church. Right. Remember when Apollos came in there? So I know, I think those three, when Paul first left, you know, he kind of left them in charge to carry on. So that was, you know, something to remember. Right. And, you, you know, just just to, you know, we, we talk about apostles and stuff. And some of the notes that I had in my Bible was giving you a difference about apostles. Like mm -hmm. the, 12, the 12 apostles that were with Jesus, it was saying that they were chosen by Jesus. Mm -hmm. okay? And then Paul was set apart and he was, he was, he was chosen not by Jesus directly when Jesus was here on earth, but because Maybe. he was called out by Jesus on the mm -hmm. road to Damascus. Yeah. Now, now the other apostles, those are people that are considered just messengers to the church. So they're not in the same vein as the 12 and Paul were. Mm -hmm. Okay. They're like messengers to the church because they're not, they weren't called necessarily by God, him, you know, by, G, by Jesus, but appointed by Paul to carry on the message like you would if you were an evangelist or whatever. Yeah. So yeah. That's, that, that's kind of important because some people may feel that those apostles were chosen by Christ too. Though, you know, the people we're talking about, Mm -hmm. Right, right. Was that they were just messengers, yeah. right, right. Messengers to the church. Yeah, and that that is an important, you know, fact to put up to, yeah. you know, to remind us, you know. For sure. Uh, and the other thing too, I think Paul both commended both the churches for their faith. You know, in, mm -hmm. in Ephesians one, mm -hmm. I think was it one and fifteen, and Colossians one four. And eight, he, you know, talks about, you know, their faith that they had. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. you know, right. that was, yeah, and they both seem to have that. And also, I think with Colossians, he talked about, he commented on the hope, you know, that, you know, that they had hope. In, and I think that's one in five, Colossians one in five. And in Ephesians, he talked about, um, you know, God, you know, God was being the, the cornerstone or mm -hmm, is that mm -hmm. the cornerstone I, I mm -hmm. think I didn't write that scripture right. and it, like he was like the foundation of everything and it was really interesting because I was doing I was building with my grandson and he was doing <laughs> we're playing that game Jenga and so yeah. one of the things <laughs> You know, so he always just tries to, you know, just stick them all on there. And I, you know, and I was trying to explain to him, you have to have a foundation. It has to be firm in order for it to grow. And so like, you know, trying to get him to understand that, you know, you have to have this foundation because if you don't have it, and no matter what blocks that you put in there, it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna stay. So that, you know, that really remind me of Christ, you know, as, them being our foundation and we are like these little blocks you know these little jingle blocks that <laughs> that make yeah. up the, the teaching <laughs> moment i like that that's good yeah that's, that's a that's good yeah it, it, it was it was really interesting because when i was reading that it just really made me think about you know that's how we are we're, we're these blocks that are being put in to to make god's kingdom you know so yeah. The fact that you use that hands-on something that that uh, Davion related to that's similar to how Jesus used you know parables for the times that they were living in they you know they were agricultural they did things mm -hmm. with the land so God would use right. you know the fig tree as examples and other things that they had a hand in doing so you using that because Davion would play games he could make that association mm -hmm. really clear and that's the same way that you know that Jesus and God would point those things out um the the other similarity is that point that was being made about 
the Gentiles were the uncircumcised. Yeah. And mm -hmm. the Jews were the circumcised. Mm -hmm. And uh, for Paul to make that point, because he said before that the Jews really, they looked upon Gentiles very poorly. So where did you see that in Colossians? Uh, Colossians is in uh, chapter 2, mm -hmm. verse 11. In him you also were uncircumcised, not, however, with a circumcision performed by human hands, but by the removal of the fleshly body, right. that is, through the circumcision done by Christ. And then when you flip over to Ephesians, he's talking about the circumcision there, almost in the same ways, chapter mm -hmm. 2, verse 11. Mm -hmm. Therefore, remember that formerly you, the Gentiles, in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by the so-called circumcision. Therefore, he's saying, you were called bad by the so-called Jew. <laughs> 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 like, like, now where did they get off to saying that? You know, now we are all, all together in the same way, but they are, they are trying to tell you, you know, but don't be so called. Like, oh. hear that. Yeah. <laughs> right. That you were at the time without the Messiah, alienated from the citizenship of Israel and strangers to the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. So, yeah, because the Jews had it all. They had the promise, the covenant, the yeah. whole ball of wax. And they looked on us as, y'all got nothing. Yeah. But <laughs> Paul was trying to bring home the fact You've got that now. Yeah. Christ, you've got it now. So he was driving that point home. Well, because weren't we saying one time that the Jews tried to make a lot of the Gentiles do the Jewish thing, the Jewish. Yeah, you know, they wanted issue. to be circumcised. Yeah, they, they did. The yes. About that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, if, if you think about it as Christians, we do the same thing, you know. With new believers, you know, they come into the church and we feel like, oh, you should be doing this and yeah. you should be dressing this way, you know. So, you know, we kind of put our little things on people too. In right. Beliefs, and know? we become the so called. The so called. Yeah. <laughs> the so called. <laughs> These so called <laughs> Christians throw me right out of there. <laughs> up there just a little bit higher. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Humble That's true. Back now. <laughs> that is so right so i actually let's see there was a few other ones okay so i've got four of them i don't have to read all of them the next one i saw was god, uh the comparison of god made you alive with christ so in ephesians 2 mm -hmm. and 5 he says made us alive with christ even when we were dead in transgressions it is uh -huh. by grace you have been saved and then in colossians yeah. 2 13 when you were dead in your sins and in the uncircumcision of your sinful nature, God made you alive with Christ. Mm -hmm. He forgave us all our sins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was another one that um, almost, you know, again, almost word for word in those two. One said, made us alive with Christ, and the other said, made you alive with Christ. Mm. So. Right, right. Oh, boy. Um yeah and then uh paul is suffering for their sake in ephesians 3 and 1 he says for this reason i paul the prisoner of christ jesus for the sake of you gentiles and then in one in colossians 1 and 24 now i rejoice in what was suffered for you and i fill up in my flesh what is still lacking in regard to christ's afflictions for the sake of his body which is the church. So it's not exactly yeah. word for word at all, but same same idea as far as him suffering for their sake. Yeah. So, and you know, I, and you know, and also that, you know, Paul, you know, prayed that, you know, that both the churches would grow in the knowledge of God, you know, mm -hmm. of who the Lord was and to and to receive spiritual wisdom. 
you know, in Ephesians, I think one in 17 in Colossians, uh, Colossians one, nine through 10, it, you know, like that was, you know, something that was really important. And it was really funny because I was also listening to, you know, doing this, I went back to um, Proverbs and was listening to some of the things that um, Solomon was talking about wisdom and, and how that was something that was really on his heart. And, you know, yeah. you know, there's that, there's that worldly wisdom and then there's that spiritual wisdom that we get uh -huh. from Christ. And, you know, and it just, it just showed me like he had it at one time, but somehow he lost it, you know. And Who was that, Alicia? I was talking about Solomon. Oh, oh, yes. David's okay. son, the one in he right, prayed when right, he became right, right. king, right? He, that's what he prayed for, and God was, God granted it to him because he wasn't yeah. praying for material things. He wasn't praying for mm -hmm. you know, money. He prayed for wisdom, and uh, that was in like first or second Kings. I remember that. We studied that yeah. on Friday, in Friday night Bible study. Yeah, so that, that part was really kind of you know, that, that spiritual wisdom is, you know, we can only get that from the spirit. You know, we can only get that from Christ. Right. And that's not something that, you know, because I don't care how many degrees you have. And, you know, I look at, you know, even my grandmother and stuff, you know, like she didn't have, she didn't go to, you know, high school. She didn't finish school. She had to work, yeah. but she had a different type of wisdom, you know. I didn't understand yeah. how she knew how she could run a business, how she could do this and how she could deal with money and so well. And, you know, and they would always read the Bible, you know, and I would see my grandfather just sitting down, you know, opening up his Bible and just reading it. And it was just totally different because they had that inward knowledge of who Christ was and, you know, and they believed in, you know, God would answer their prayers and do stuff. So, you know, it's not like you have to have all these degrees. I don't care how many degrees you have, if you don't have Christ in you. They're and I think, save you. yeah, and I think that's what Paul wanted, you know, the, the church to know, you know, you got to know who Christ is and yeah. this is what he's done for you. He died for you, you know, and Oh, yeah, it's just really, I don't know. I, I think every time Easter comes, it's just really so hard. I hate to watch these movies when they show how Christ is, has gone to the cross and all the suffering that he did. And, you know, you say, Lord, for me, you know, for me, it's just really. Oh, my gosh. When I was watching, I I had to watch it in like three different shifts when I watched the, um, the passion of the Christ, Ooh, it was, I mean, I can take so much, but that and knowing yeah. that was a really, really hard one for me. And I had to keep turning it off and then going back to it. Cause it was just, it was so overwhelming and yeah, I think it, was that humbling. it was all of that, you know, and you already know, and you know that they beat him so badly and everything that they did to him. But to see that and just know that, you know, even in that movie, that they probably still didn't capture anywhere near, you know. But that, you know, that's the only, that's the only movie I think I've seen where they actually show so much of the suffering that Christ did oh. and, you know, the things yeah. that they used because I remember looking the greatest story ever told and this other one, the son of God. Right. And they showed the, they showed the beating, but in the passion of the Christ, that was totally, I mean, I just, I, I, it's just like I was there and, you know, yes. you could feel everything that, you know, Christ went through and that uh, well, it, it showed the gruesomeness of it to yes. such an extent yeah. that, um, you know, you know how you turn away from certain things that, that look so bad or make, you know, look like, oh, I can't, I can't see it. Like what Maria said, mm -hmm. it's very yeah. gruesome, very gruesome. And, and uh, it's funny when you're watching it too, you don't need the subtitles. I mean, I really didn't even read them. I'm like, okay, I know exactly where they are, but you really don't need them to see what's happening, to feel what's going yeah. on. You know, it's almost just, you know, having that in, um, 
whatever language it was in right now. It's escaping me, but still, it, do, it doesn't matter. They had the subtitles, but I don't remember even looking at those once. Like, no, this is where, you know, like when uh, Peter cut that guy's ear off and, and mm -hmm. all of that, you know, just le all of that stuff leading up. It's like you don't even, when you already know and you, you know, you studied the Bible or you know about, you know, Jesus and what he went through and all that, that you don't, that's one you don't even need to hear those words because you've already read the word and you know, mm -hmm. and uh, it just made it so much more intense for me. Oh, well, yeah. Thank you. Like, uh, <laughs> anyway, I had yeah. a couple more. I don't know if you have any more of the kind of like the parallels of the two. No, you can go ahead. Somehow. Yeah. Somehow, I made, it's so funny, I made my screen smaller, so I'm trying to make it bigger now. <laughs> I maybe sh I shouldn't touch it. Oh, okay, oh, go ahead. Sorry, my phone is, that, well, my phone rings. It's not for me, but it's just ringing oh, at okay. me, so just forgive that. All right, so, uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so the this one I found was mystery made known to Paul. So in Ephesians 3 and 3, he says, that is the mystery made known to me by revelation, as I have already written briefly. And then in Colossians 1 and 26, he says, the mystery that has been kept hidden for ages and generations, but is now disclosed to the saints. And that was the one, I think it was last week where I said there was something about the mystery. And then this week I was able to go in. I'm like, I'm going to find that one because I couldn't uh -huh. remember. I knew there was some kind of parallel, but I couldn't remember where it all was. Mm. So I was able to go in and, and find that um, as far as the mystery of when he says it mm -hmm. in Colossians about what is kept hidden. And then, and then he refers to it as the mystery that's been made known to him. I think Anita is calling me on my phone. Oh, is she uh, she's trying yeah. to get on? It's let me, not let me find out real quick. <laughs> were, we, were we able to determine? Uh -oh. <laughs> she's, she's, <laughs> uh oh, she's trying to figure out how to get connected. <laughs> All she has to do is click the link that I sent her uh, on her email. I click sent it link. in Messenger on Facebook. I sent her. I didn't have her email address, so I sent her the link. She sent you the link. Did you have the link in Messenger? Did you send it to her email? Yeah. No, I sent it to her through Messenger on Facebook. He sent it to you through Messenger on Facebook. Okay. Um, I don't know how to find that, but I will. Hey, look who's here. <laughs> hey, ah! Faster. Faster. <laughs> Hi, Faster. Hey. Oh, <laughs> 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 All right. Look who snuck right in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll uh, get into the meeting, see what y'all do. Sure. It's a secret. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a, a mystery. <laughs> just like how Paul was just, just talking mystery. about the mystery made known to Paul. Perfect timing. <laughs> uh, we're talking. Uh, Lenita wants to know the the. Do you have email? Can she send it to you on your message? Well, we're almost done. I mean, yeah, I'm almost done. Yeah, I could try. Um, we'll be I'll, finishing up probably within the next 10 minutes. Yeah, next 10 or five minutes. Or, do you want me to leave till then? No, no. No, no. stay. You stay. <laughs> we're just, I guess, I don't know what happened with Lenita. I thought well, I You I can try. It. We'll try it again next week. We'll try to send it to your, your text message you so you can have it. Okay. That or email me, but um, I'll, why don't I just hang on the phone right now? That's yeah. fine. Okay. Alrighty. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> you can hear us, right? Okay. Yep, I can hear you all fine. Okay. Oh, good. Let's okay. go ahead. <laughs> the last one. I'll just do the last one, and then we can kind of start to wrap up, unless we all have something else. So. The last parallel. So we're talking about, um, we're reading through Ephesians okay. faster. And we, it was saying to find like the, the similarities and parallels between what we've read in Ephesians and what we read in Colossians. Okay. 
So that's kind of, I was going over the ones that I had found. So the last one I found was um, servant of the gospel. So in Ephesians 3 and 7, he says, I became a servant of this gospel by the gift of God's grace given me through the working of his power. And in Colossians 1 and 23, he had said, this is the gospel that you heard and that has been proclaimed to every creature under heaven and of which I, Paul, have become a servant. So he's talking both about being a servant of the gospel and both of those. So that was the last one that I kind of, I'm sure I could have found more, but um, um, that's kind of it. Do we want to say anything as to what that mystery is that was hidden? Oh, this one up here? Testament, yeah. So the only thing for me is that um, where he was saying that in Colossians, he was talking about the mystery that was kept hidden, sorry, kept hidden for ages and is now disclosed to the saints. But then in Ephesians, he said that the mystery has been made known to me by revelation, as I have already written briefly. So I don't know where he wrote that, but since we've got pastor here, I'm sure that he can... <laughs> shine some light on all this what do we think the mystery is oh i know what the mystery is <laughs> we know you know past <laughs> <laughs> well remember we were talking about the uncircumcision and the circumcision and that rift, that rift between the jews and the gentiles yes and how the jews were saying you can't have none of this <laughs> because this is us for us, for us. <laughs> and uh, do we think that that mystery has something to do with that that separation and rift between the Gentiles and the Jews? I'm, I don't. Yeah, no. Well, um, I don't know. I was. Who who got the? Wasn't it Abraham who got the covenant and the promises? Right. By faith. Right. And the Gentiles weren't part of any of that. But when Jesus now, when, when Gentiles believe and have faith in Jesus' death and, and, and repent of their sins, then when aren't we grafted into that? I'm a, nobody it's wants a mis to. It's a mystery, that just, you know, not really understanding you know who you know who god is who you know christ was well I, I was thinking that the mystery is the fact that abraham and them didn't know anything about what was going to happen with gentiles that's the mystery until jesus when everything but unfolded every, with, with christ yeah uh, yeah that's the mystery that we now can be part of it right wasn't it though that Christ is in us, the Christ in you, isn't that part of? Yeah, but but in us meaning that. So what that do you now, mean the rift between the Jews and the Gentiles? What did you mean by that? The circumcision and the uncircumcision. You remember they were <laughs> arguing back and forth and the, the so-called. Yeah. The fact that, that Jews had everything. They regarded themselves as being God's promise. That was who the covenant was with. The promises were you know, generation upon generation. And, you know, Gentiles were considered, you know, the scum of the earth. We're not, we not having any part of that. But Jesus does make us then being able to be on par with the Jews. That's the mystery. The mystery was revealed because <laughs> Paul came... <laughs> I don't, help me out, Pastor. Oh, now she wants to. Oh, now she wants. Now she wants to. She wants to. I, was, I told you I knew, and I'm just waiting. Y'all, y'all heavy. This oh, we class, get heavy. We get into it. This class is too heavy for me. <laughs> Listen. So, so, no, the, so that's that's what I was thinking. It's, that it's all you know, it's all, out one in Christ. It's all inclusive, but the mystery was and is Christ. Period. Yeah. Okay. That's the mystery. All now, right. Now, the rift that you were talking about was only a rift because they said it was a rift. God never said it was a rift. That's wow. what we were talking about. Yeah. They, they, 
yeah. considered it a rift between, you know, and they, they and that's where they messed up. They they and that's why tried Paul to elevate had, themselves yeah. instead of elevating God so he could draw men unto himself. Right. So okay. Christ Christ came there it, because um let me see, what scripture is that? It says that um 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 I, I wanna say Hebrews um Hebrews what? Just say say what it is so we can look it up real quick. Yeah. What, what are you trying to say? Um, <laughs> well, they where men had waited ages for the mystery. Oh. Amen. Hmm. Oh well, maybe let me see. Was that in Hebrews? Well, I know Hebrews one says in these last days through Christ. Uh, but that's the majesty and a group better than everything else. But it was one that talked about, oh man, I almost had it. Wait a minute. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you call on when you don't understand. You're confused. <laughs> Jesus. Hebrews says, uh, in the, these are the last days spoken to us by his son. Yeah, I know. That's one. He That's Hebrews one. Heir of all things through whom also he made his works. Is that where you're going, Pastor? No that was that that was not necessarily where I was going. <laughs> um the Hebrew. But now that I mentioned oh, yes. it. Let me look at Romans. I'm trying to find it in here. Romans, not Hebrews. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't. Let me see. Hold on. Um, now to him who has the power to establish according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery, which was okay. Romans sixteen twenty five. Oh, okay. Romans was on the right track here. Romans 1625. 1625. Almost to the end. Now to him who oh, yeah, is established by my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery hidden for long ages past. Well, there you go. But now is made manifest by the scriptures of the prophets according to the commandment of the everlasting God, made known to all nations for the obedience of faith. Right. So this the revelation of the mystery. Which is Christ. Which is Christ. Which is Christ. Yeah. So that that Christ was and is the mystery. A lot of people they didn't even believe Christ was real when Christ was, you know. When he was yes. on earth, right. mm -hmm. they didn't believe that he was the one, but he was the one and he is the one. And so um, men had made, waited long years for this mystery to be revealed. Um, let me see. And I'm looking at another one. Let me just got one more. 1125. Why would not brother have you this year? Did you say 1125, Pastor? Yeah, Romans 1125. Okay. Uh, 1125 says, For I do not desire, brethren, that you should be ignorant of this mystery, lest you should be wise in your own opinion that blindness in part has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles has come in. So that did what you were talking about how we're all being able we're all able to be connected together in Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a part of it. Uh -huh. So you guys were on track. Okay. 
You were you were really you were hitting on cylinders, and I'm saying just say it, just say it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, and he said, just say it. Just say it. Yeah, because you were saying it, but yeah. it wasn't it wasn't definitive. It, it, it's definite. Yeah, yeah. It's a definite mystery with a definite revelation. Uh, and if it's if it's a mystery from God, God's the only one who can reveal it. So, so do we right. all have to keep hammering home these these things, the knowledge of these things, so that Hello? the Gentiles could feel like you know, uh, be bolstered up in their you know in 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 their faith to not feel like they were you know second class or they were you know is. Because Paul does keep hammering. I mean, Maria brought out the things that he keeps hammering and making sure that they know and understand because mm -hmm. he wants them to stand strong in that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and Gentiles were excluded because of their, like you said, being non-Jew. Yeah. Which was, yeah. which was their own little, I mean, they had put together their own little structure. That's why Christ came and it got so far out of hand, it was like, and, and he talked about the fullness of time. The fullness, when the fullness of time, Christ came, and so they were completely leading people in the complete wrong direction. Mm -hmm. And Paul, because of who he was and how God had prepared him, he was prepared to deal with both Jew and Gentile on any level. Yeah. And so it was his duty to. He loved. He loved. He loved his brothers. You know, I said to the Jew first, and then to the Greek. So, but it was to all of them. He, he wouldn't discriminate, and, and they had a discriminative type religion. You know, one thing I, that I really admired about Paul, no matter what he went through, he, you know, still tried to pull in those Jews who were non-believers, who mm -hmm. you know, didn't believe yeah. him. You know, he said, come on, listen to me. You know, went through the whole sermon. And, you know, some of them believed and some didn't. You know, so he really tried to to keep the Jews, you know, knowing who, you know, knowing who Christ was. And they just didn't want to. Well, he was messing up. He was messing up their money, number one. Their yeah. economy was tied into that. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. know, so Mind that was part of now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So our stuff is tied up to our. Whoa, I see a big picture of you now. Who? You. It was you, Pastor. You came on full board. <laughs> oh, what oh, happened? I stopped to share. I had that thing up, but I took it down. So yeah. now we're kind of bigger. Oh, I see everybody, though. Everybody Except said with me. Well, you shit. Yeah. You are, you're trying to be a mystery. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I'm wearing. Guess what I have on. Guess what I look like. <laughs> oh, very good. That's how she wanted it. She played it that way. She never puts a picture up. I'm like, this is the mystery. <laughs> Master, we know you just wanted to come in to observe and and leave it, you know, just leave it to, to us to, to, to have it and go through it. But you know, it's always, it, it's hard when your pastor is on board, you just want to pull them in. Uh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> and guess what? I'm like a fish. Y'all hook me in every time. <laughs> With that bait out there, I'm going to come in, you know? <laughs> yes, well. The, uh, but you know what? I, I, you know, Maria has been kind of telling me what's going on and you guys are doing a great job and, 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 and working together and doing things and talking things over. And so, yeah, I mean, that's what it's all about, figuring it out. She she asked me, well, we had this question, we had that question, and I share with her and stuff like that. So, Good. you know, you, you st I'm still kind of there, but, you know, it, it's up to you also. And I'm glad that y'all take the time to study the scriptures. And I, and uh, sister, uh, sister mystery woman. <laughs> I was talking to I was talking to Sister Johnson today. I don't know if she joined you, but no. reach Felita out. Felita or Fayretta Johnson? Fayretta. Fayretta. No, yeah. she didn't come on. Yeah, Maybe reach, she tried, but I didn't. Yeah, reach out and her. encourage her to come. Oh, she, absolutely. Oh, yeah. I love come, the yeah. input from from as many sisters as we can get. That yeah. Means. Yeah. So yeah, we just have to really get that link out. See. Keela is really good at coming in. All right, show me right now before you go anywhere. Get this thing set up. So, you know, I, and, you know, and we never know, you know, we're going to, 
continue to use this even though when you know this virus thing is over with it's you know we can still use oh, yeah. it for other yeah. things oh absolutely it's really good absolutely. Good outreach yeah yeah it, it's really good for women who cannot you know come you know to mm -hmm. the coffee table and sit down and you know That's just right. happy with us you know right yeah you know and there's so many other people who <laughs> You know, I've already, the things that we're doing and, and this, even this class, I've already heard that, you know, people are excited about it. They're like, man, it's got so much going on. I'm, I, you know, I'm, I can stay busy just doing this. And I'm like, yes, Lord, <laughs> yes. thank you. Yeah. So, you know, the thing is about getting people, um, getting them involved, getting them yeah. to study the scripture themselves. And so, yeah, yeah we're, 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 we're still trying. We're going to yeah. keep. We're going to keep, as long as there's breath in my body, I'm going to keep doing what I do. <laughs> well, we know that. <laughs> a million of ideas, Pastor. We, know we, just need, we just need millions of parish parishioners. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you wind me up, I'll keep going. <laughs> well, you know what? I think this is going to bring a lot more people to the table, you know, just being able to share and fellowship in a different way. Yeah. You know, so this this is good. You know, we may have to go to some seniors' house and set it up for them so that they can, you know, be know able to, to use it. Yeah, so they oh, can yeah. do it. So we can go there and be their little tech. No, someone else can go with me to help me be yeah. their little tech. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm not that great, but uh, I'll well, be at least, willing to go. At least you can show them what to do a couple times, let them go through it. And then just, uh, you know, see if they yeah. do it themselves. If they get confused, they can always call and say, remember I showed you this? Remember I showed you that? Right. Oh. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I got some right now who just, I don't understand that stuff. I said, you got people around you who do. Talk to yeah. them. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Even their yeah. grandkids are, I mean, my daughter figures out a lot of stuff for me. I'm like, here, just take it. I give up, you know. And yeah. The more, the more you do. do it, you know, the more you do it, then you'll get familiar with it. Yeah. yeah. Just have yeah. to do it enough. Well, I was, there, yeah, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, uh, Michelle's her mother, who was able to go <laughs> right. in on the internet and get videos and do this and send them to her. And I'm like, why? Well, she's 90 years old. So, oh. I mean, we're teachable. <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's their normalcy, but I mean, we're not, you know, we're not too old to learn something. I learn yeah. this stuff. I learn new stuff all the time. It's like crazy. I'm like, wow. Yeah. It's nice. It is nice. Yeah. Especially when you can do it for yourself, you know, especially like, I got you, it. I got it. <laughs> especially when you know you did it. It's, yes, that, exactly. it's that accidental stuff that don't <laughs> <laughs> like, how'd I do that? Yeah. <laughs> Retrace my steps. I don't know. <laughs> I was I just pushing that down. <laughs> I was just pushing buttons. <laughs> That's right. Wait, yeah. Pastor, your room looks clean. Wait, wait. Excuse me? Oh, you're not at church. Excuse me. You're not oh, at church. Right. It looks like That's church. your office. Is that looks your like office? To me, yeah. Wow, it looks like it's different. Hey. That's has it been that long? <laughs> it looks nice. Somebody broke in and cleaned it up, huh? <laughs> Maybe it's just the angle of the view. You know what? <laughs> Maybe I just got a good angle of the view. I was looking at it myself, and I said, this is not a bad angle. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Well, it was, it's good seeing everybody. And it is. Well, it is. I'm going to also, I posted the link on the Facebook page, so I don't know what happened. And tomorrow, um, I think Jim wants to try doing his noonday Bible study with people present. So, you know, we'll kind of see how that works. And I'll, I'll post that link tomorrow, too. On, on the Facebook page? I'll post the link. He wants to do it like this. Is a like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And so then. maybe I can get him to sit in my office. He's kind of a creature of habit. Okay. <laughs> so I know he likes to be in that back room, but if he can come in here and see everybody, then, you know. What is he on? What is he, I mean, what is, is he doing a particular? He, it'll be up on the screen. I, I type it out for him, but it's the Bible studies for life. Um, okay. but it'll be, we'll share it on the screen, the screen. because not everybody right. has the book. So um, okay. I make sure that I type it out and put it on there. And so everybody can follow along with them. All right. Mm. So, the mystery mm. typer. Yes. <laughs> 
Yeah. Hey, it, it's skill. I can type quickly, so it's it's not a big deal for me. See, and that's a mystery for me. <laughs> yeah. I see people doing that stuff. I'm like, how do you do that? How do you do that? <laughs> My brain don't work like that. So okay. <laughs> no, like, your I, fingers I have the, to work faster than your brain. I go with the, I go with the peck method. <laughs> yeah, so long as it gets on the page, that's, uh, that's hey. Nice. It might take a little longer, but it's still. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> That's funny. Cool. <laughs> well, hey, so you want to hear something here. else that's funny? What's what? that? I was able to get a doctorate on the Peck method. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Yeah, you know, there's got to be something to it. It's got to be something to it. <laughs> all right. That's a testimony right, right there. there. Lord, yes, mercy. You said, if I can oh pick God. along, I anybody can do it. Anybody can. I don't know why these kids don't like that stuff. I like to be in a classroom. I'm like, please, I'll be online getting my stuff. With the way y'all do it? Yeah. So. Yes. That is so good. So how's the family? Everybody's doing good. Yeah, they're yeah. shut in and all that. So we're doing real good, though. Good. Yeah. Oh, God, the boys. <laughs> I get to homeschool now. Of Hello. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you know they have their classes. <laughs> they zoom their classes. So and yeah. they got, Isaac's got little crafts. Nick is starting his. So we have to we're setting stuff up in the garage so we can do crafts with them and different things. And they have to do their little reading and all this other stuff. I'm like, man, y'all, y'all getting me, getting me on this stuff. <laughs> Wow. I've, I've done mine. What? Oh, I got to do <laughs> okay, you guys want to laugh before we, we leave. Okay. My son, my um my grandson was out was at home with his mom. And so she went outside in the front to pick some flowers, right? And uh this guy walks on the other side of the street. Davion looks at him, he said, Ah, he got he runs in the house, slams the door, locks his mother out, and she's banging on the door. Let me in. I don't want to die. No. Wow. Oh, I, was, I said, oh, my gosh. And so she, she's trying to push on the door, and he's pushed closed. And like, no, I don't want to die. No, no. Wow. <laughs> Save yourself. Said, yeah, the will to live. I know. And I say, you know. And I said, this kid is four years old. You know, he <laughs> understand this virus can kill you. You can die. I don't okay. want to die. Don't want to do it. That's and right. I just, uh -huh. But I can no just preservation. See it. It's right. <laughs> real. I saw the Grim Reaper pass by. <laughs> 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 I can see little David. I bet oh, his yeah. eyes. I bet his eyes was wide. Just bang. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, I mean, what you know is that we died laughing because I could just see him pushing on the door and she's on the other end trying to push to get in the house. <laughs> like, no, you, no, I'm saving myself. <laughs> <laughs> you go through another door. This one's closed. <laughs> let him get you, not me. Uh -uh, nah, nah, nah. Find a window or something. <laughs> like, let me in. Nah, nah, I ain't opening the door. You can be <laughs> yeah, I thought that was funny, though. I said, oh, <laughs> that is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. You know, I have lots of stories to tell about Davion. I can tell. Oh, I, know. I will by the time I'm writing them over down. With, <laughs> by the time this is over with, we'll have a lot. Right. But anyhow, I'm gonna have to go. Well, since you're here, Pastor, you want to pray us out and then we'll Absolutely. let everybody go about their business. All right. Gracious Heavenly Father, how we thank you so much for your goodness, your kindness, your grace, and your mercy. Thank you for loving us, God, as only you can. We lift you up, O Heavenly Father, because you're worthy of our praise. And you said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw men unto me. It's not our power. It's not our might. It's not what we do. It's, it's, it's all you, God. And so we're praying, God, for this uh, Bible study. Thank I want to pray for Sister Bonner. Sister McWatt, Sister Maria, Lord, and others who, Sister Lanita, others who show up, <clears throat> at least take the time to get into a Bible study. Yeah. And we give you thanks, God, and we thank, we know that you're continuing to bless our faithfulness, but it's our faith in you and believing you. that you're able to do exceedingly abundantly above anything that we might ask to thank. I pray for those uh, 
seniors who are in uh, care homes, Lord, yes. that yes. Uh, are, mm. are, seem to be getting hit hardest uh, at this time. And others, God, who are forced uh, in situations, uh, Lord, and, and having to do things, but at the same time, uh, putting their life at risk, health care workers and other people, mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. who work in manufacturers and, and packing houses and those types of things. Yes. So much more, right. God. But we know the, the word of God said, this too shall pass. And so we okay. just put it in your hands because we trust in you. We know every day is a gift from you. Yes, it and is. And that's why we can call it the present. So I want to pray for our homes, our families, continue to pray for our staff here. And just yes. all those, God, who is on our heart. And we give yes. you all the praise yes. and honor and glory. Uplift this Bible study to a place where it's Please. overflowing yes. with, with more and more women who just want to come and share the good news of Jesus mm -hmm. Christ and, and go through the scriptures together. So thank we love you, God, and we thank you for loving us. Thank you. And yes. thank you for never giving up on us. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. And thank God. Amen. Amen. Well, it's so good seeing all y'all again. Yes, oh, except yes. for you. It'd be nice to see you too. Well, Miss you, may, you may see me next week. <laughs> that was good. Woo! Yeah. You know, right maybe I'll just, just, <laughs> just show up early. The mystery will be revealed. <laughs> yeah. no, the mystery will be revealed. This is Alicia. <laughs> the mystery. Oh, Bam. You only get a flash. <laughs> All right, Pastor, we'll check you out tomorrow. All right, thank you. Yes, okay. enjoy. Right. Love, I love having all that stuff on the, uh, YouTube. It's so much easier. Oh, yeah. It YouTube makes it and much finding easier. it. Oh, my oh, gosh. Okay. okay. Yes, I appreciate that. Well, all okay. Right. All right, now. Okay. God bless right, y'all. God bless you all. Bless you, too. Bye-bye now. Bye. Love you guys. Bye-bye.